now for something completely different. A little while ago I did a video uh, entitled Trends in the in the fountain pen world or Trends with fountain pen, something like that. And uh, it was just a video where I talk. I talk a little bit about things that were on my mind and that was uh, pretty well received. People seem to really enjoy that. So I tried to continue that, that series uh, here. And today I want to talk about something about which I've also received quite a couple of questions over the years. And I'm, I'm definitely not an expert at this kind of stuff. <clears throat> but, sorry, time for a sip. But I do think this is an interesting topic to think about. Are fountain pens a good investment? People email me a lot. And they say, I, I, I received this question uh, definitely, I would say, two, three times a year. I want to get into fountain pens. Are they a good investment? Um, what pen should I buy if I want the highest return as an investment? Well, typically, and that's why I just said I'm not really an expert at this, that's not the reason I buy fountain pens. I don't buy a fountain pen because I want to make money. I buy a fountain pen because I really like that pen. I'm a user. I wouldn't even call myself a collector because I don't really collect. I only have a couple and I really like those pens, but that's it. I'm not looking to have every Parker 51 in every color ever made. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that then you are a collector. I'm not a collector. However, given that I get this question fairly regularly, because for me two or three times a year, that's fairly regularly. That means it's a recurring thing. It's on people's minds. So. What can I say about that? Well, a couple of things. First of all, as I said, this is not something that is really strongly on my mind. But a couple of days ago, I was talking to my friend Emmanuel, the, uh, the, 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 the founder of Armando Simoni Club. And what you may or may not know is that he, he purchased all of the Omas stock when the Omas company went out of business. So he has their celluloids, he also had whatever pens they had at that point, etc. And he, he sells those. He doesn't just use the rods to make ASC pens, among the Simone Club, uh, but he also sells old Omas pens. I was talking to him about this and he said, well, actually there is something to be said for looking at some pens as an investment. So here's the thing. If, if I do this, that's just because I'm looking at my notes. Um, Montblanc is a brand that we know. Montblanc makes pretty expensive pens. Some of those pens are really quite expensive. And traditionally, Montblanc has always been looked at as the investment brand. If you want to buy a pen that really retains its value well, that has good resale value, Montblanc is definitely a brand to check out. Some Montblanc pens over the years have actually in increased in value quite a bit. Case in point, the first ever writer's edition Montblanc did, the Hemingway. Um, my friend Joe showed me the original bill of the Hemingway he purchased when it was released. And I think the bill was something along the lines of $450. That is a pen that these days sells for $2,500, $2,600. So it has really increased in value. But I think one thing that's important to remember is that that is quite exceptional. Most pens, provided that you don't even use them, but you leave them in the box, uninked, unused, with paperwork, with everything, most pens will not really increase in value. If you're lucky, they will retain their value because there will be a market for that. Sometimes a pen is so, I don't use the term in a derogatory fashion, but it's so hyped up, like the first Montblanc Writers Edition, the Hemingway, that everybody wants it. And then it's a hype, and then what is created is demand. And when demand goes up, price goes up, right? But that's exceptional. A lot of other Mont Blanc Writers editions, people will pay money for too, but I don't see them go for 
as much as I see Hemingway go for at pretty much every pen show you go to or look check eBay or check other uh, uh, pen forums etc so what I'm trying to say is yes it can happen that a pen increases in value but it is not that common don't expect to buy any random pen and expect this to happen now having said that and taking another sip Something interesting has happened recently, and this is where Emmanuel and my, my conversation comes in. Omas, the Italian pen company, unfortunately has gone under a company that's been missed by many. And what we do see, and again, Emmanuel is selling quite a couple of Omas pens, so he has a, a pretty good view on this, I would say, Omar's prices are kind of through the roof. So, um, another uh, example, right, example, take the original Omar's Paragon. I have one here. The small, smaller Paragon, I say that because the modern Paragon is a lot bigger. This pen, in the Arco celluloid, which is what I'm holding right now, had an introductory price of four hundred and sixty dollars in nineteen ninety eight. Okay, four hundred and sixty dollars. So you're looking at kind of Hemingway, right? Hemingway, so similar price. These pens now sell for up to fifteen hundred, seventeen hundred, just like that. Check out eBay. So what you could say it depends a bit on condition of the pen, obviously. But what you could say is those prices in a very short amount of time. Because they used to be, I mean, you, you could get these at pen shows. I remember just a couple of years ago, I, I saw these at pen shows for, for $700, $800, maybe $900. But that was it. Below four figures. These pens have really soared. The prices have really soared. Um, and uh, Manu actually gave me the, 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 the prices, the last pens he has sold. So recently he sold a, a bronze Paragon, someone like this. For $1,525, uh, he sold an Arco Verde, which is a similar material but in green, same model, for $1,750. And that's not even that much because I've seen Arco Verde models of this pen go for up to $2,500 US. So what I'm trying to say here is interesting that after the demise of Omas, these prices have gone up so much. Now, of course, you could say well, of course, the company is gone. Imagine what would happen if, and this will not happen, imagine what would happen if tomorrow Mont Blanc snaps it. Right, Mont Blanc is gone. What would happen to the price of a Hemingway then? Well, I don't know, because they don't make Hemingways anymore, so I don't think that is, that is something that should really be on your mind. But would, would the price of, say, a regular production 149 model, would that go up exponentially? I don't know. If you look at a company, I guess, comparable to Omas, Delta, also an Italian pen company, also used some nice celluloids. I'm, I'm pretty sure the uh, Delta Dolce Vita, that nice orange pen, I thought that was a celluloid. Delta, has, as far as I understand, gone. Um, they, they closed their doors. I don't see Dolce Vitas on eBay for $1,500 or $2,000. So it's an interesting demand. So for some reason, the <coughs> sorry, the the Arco celluloid has soared, and there are other celluloids too that seem to be particularly popular. That Omas used the, the Burkina sells for a lot, um, and th there's a couple of them that also seem to have increased in price. And I I I can't really sort of put my finger on what what exactly is going on there. I there seems to be something, some some hyping up. Um, maybe or people just really want that celluloid but for some reason it seems to be very very popular but the question that i asked is not why does the price of omas goes up notice the dramatic pause there the question was are pens a good investment well to me right now it looks like when you take the arco into account i'm looking around here because i have a couple here and if you look at the Arco, the prices are kind of through the roof, but in a very selective manner. 
you see it especially on the pens from the say the the, the um, 80s, 90s uh, Omas pens because the modern Paragon or the Paragon Grand this has not increased that much in price. I don't see these for 2500 okay this is the Arco Brown I don't see these for 1500 1700 I do see the smaller older ones for that price so what I'm trying to say is even though the price of the Arco increases, do not expect that everything that is Arco will suddenly increase in price, right? It's the older model that seems to be particularly going up. The, more, the, the, the newer ones, I don't think that much. The final thing I wanted to say was that it's still not so easy to say, so even if you have this pen, it would be a good investment. A good friend recently tried to sell his Arco Verde Paragon, very coveted material. He listed it for, I think, $2,000. A lot. No buyers. Bear in mind that when you talk about investment, you're also talking about returns, because if you invest in something, you want to get money back, that's your return. And even if the price of, say, our core material goes up, it doesn't mean you're sitting on a whole bunch of money because you also have to be able to sell the product to make that money back. And that means you need to have a buyer. And it is not at all a given that even if you have the Arco material, you will just find a buyer. The only thing I would say is that, and that's just to conclude, when it comes to pens being investments, Yes, some of them appear to be fairly precious commodities. Yes, the Arco has soared. Will it keep doing that? I don't know. As the market gets more sated, the, the collectors who want the Arco get it and settle down. I find it hard to believe that prices would keep going up. So the very short answer to this question, and I hope I haven't bored you to death, but I, I, did, thought, uh, I did think this was an interesting topic to tackle. Are fountain pens a good investment? My short answer is no, because especially once you start using them, they already deprecate, they, they already lose value. If you keep them sealed in a box, some may be, but I think the vast majority of pens will not be. Some materials are hot. Right now, Arco is hot, uh, right now uh, being 2018. 2019, who knows? Two months, who knows? If you really, really want a solid investment, I think gold is still a safe bet, but even that some people doubt, so who knows. In any case, food for thought, right? I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.